everybody, I'm Raw Food Chef Kaya Rifka from TheLivingVision.com here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods. Today I'll be sharing a recipe with you for a raw vegan golden milk elixir. Traditionally, golden milk is a drink made from a turmeric paste, cow's milk, a sweetener of some sort, and a little bit of black pepper. This is a very, very healing drink and I wanted to share my version with you where rather than using a traditional cow's milk, I make a milk from nuts and seeds. Um, and today I'll be using Living Tree's Alive Organic Almond Butter to cream up this very healing tonic drink. So the deal with turmeric powder is that um, it's much more than a spice in your cupboard or in many Indian foods and curries. It is a very powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Um, it supports the neurological system. It supports lymphatic flow, bile production, liver detoxification. It's a very powerful immune booster. It's being used in cancer, healing cancer research. Um, it's used for rheumatoid arthritis, eczema, psoriasis. It's been proven to be a powerful pain reliever, as powerful as over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen. So it's um, a food that is so healing that we really want to take it in on a regular basis and support our entire bo um, body's functions. So um, this milk is a great way to take it in because it's delicious, it's really warming, uh, it's also actually delicious cold. So um, today I'm also going to be combining some other powerful foods. So we've got our turmeric. Then I'm also going to be using some of Living Tree's goji berries, which in and of themselves are such a powerful superfood, so high in antioxidants, so high in vitamin C, in amino acids, um, and so much more. It's been known to be a longevity food for thousands of years. Um, and to this I'm also going to be adding some raw honey, um, a little bit of vanilla powder from Living Tree Community Foods, and um, I'm adding just a pinch of black pepper and a pinch of cardamom. The cardamom is for flavor. The black pepper, however, there was a study done in 1998 at a, a medical college in India um, where they took 16 parts turmeric powder to one part black pepper and they found that that turmeric powder became 2,000 times more absorbable by our bodies. Turmeric powder has been known to be difficult to absorb um, through our intestinal tract, but adding just a pinch of black pepper makes it 2,000 times more absorbable. So that black pepper, you're not even going to taste it in this drink. If you want to taste it, if you want a little spice, add a little more black pepper or even a little bit of cayenne pepper, which is extremely healing in and of itself. Um, but in general, for this recipe, we're just adding the tiniest pinch and you won't even notice it. Um, but again, it allows us to absorb that turmeric and really utilize it. So without further ado, let's just get into this recipe. It's so easy to make using Living Tree's Alive Organic Almond Butter. And um, just a little background on their almond butter. It all comes from local organic California almond growers. Um, and they take those organic almonds and rather than using a high friction process, um, stone grinding which causes heat and can uh, destroy vital nutrients, enzymes as well as fats, they do a process that slices those almonds over a number of days, never ever ever heating. So really, really retaining all the integrity of those almonds. And almond butter is great because it makes um, delicious recipes in general is a delicious food in general, but really creams up nicely in milks. So all I'm going to do here is add just a tablespoon of their almond butter to my high speed blender. And to that I'll go ahead and add my two teaspoons of goji berries. And I'll Almost all of these ingredients you can find on Living Tree Community Foods. Um, I'm adding the black pepper and the cardamom. The cardamom, again, is just for flavor. Um, and then let's add our turmeric powder. And I'm adding one teaspoon of turmeric powder. So 
there's one teaspoon of the turmeric powder. I'm just adding a pinch of Living Trees vanilla powder, which gives it um, a nice kind of dessert, desserty sort of flavor. And for me, I don't personally normally make this with a sweetener, although using a sweetener is probably something that most people would like, but I really recommend try this before you sweeten it and taste it. Um, because I find that it's quite delicious and there's something slightly sweet about it as it is, especially um, with today I'm using a base of cinnamon tea. So I just took one cinnamon stick and I poured some boiling water over it and I've been letting it steep for quite a while because I really wanted that cinnamon flavor to come out. The other thing that you can do is Living Tree Community Foods carries a Ceylon cinnamon or a Kalon cinnamon, um, which is a really, really powerful healing Cinnamon. So you could just add, you know, a quarter teaspoon of that and then some hot or warm water to it. Um, the other thing that I've done is used a powerful green tea. So I'll make steep a really nice strong green tea. And that's more of a morning elixir, so it's something that's really invigorating and rejuvenating. Um, whereas the cinnamon tea, I might use that more for an evening uh, tonic, uh, evening drink. And... Um, yeah, okay, so we've added all of those ingredients. Now, of uh, your liquid, I'm going to add two cups. And because my husband might want to drink this, I am going to add a little bit of honey, because I know he'll like it sweet. And I'm using Living Trees Hawaiian, raw Hawaiian honey, and it's beautiful and it smells so nice. So <clears throat> if I were you, I would start by tasting it unsweetened and then add a teaspoon of honey or if you're vegan, some uh, nice coconut nectar or maple syrup, all of which Living Tree carries uh, the highest quality. And then taste it and if you want it a little, little sweeter, then you know, go ahead and add another teaspoon. I'm adding two teaspoons to this one. Okay, and then all you want to do after that is blend it till everything is well emulsified. The nice thing about this drink is that it gets really frothy, and I love those little bubbles on top, that, that creamy, bubbly latte style drink that you get out of it. And with the cinnamon, with the mix of the cinnamon and the cardamom and the black pepper, um, it tastes chai-like. And the turmeric just really adds a nice flavor to it. I was a little bit nervous at first when I first tasted this drink because I thought turmeric would be really bitter, but it's very nice, very creamy. Okay, so I'm going to get blended. Once it's really well blended, it should all be emulsified. Those goji berries should be completely broken down. You shouldn't feel any grittiness. Just pour it into your cup. I hope you can see that gorgeous golden color. How often do you get to drink something as golden as the sunshine? It's so beautiful. And then just enjoy it. So here's to life, longevity, vitality. I hope that you try this out at home and enjoy it. And um, come back and join us again really soon. I'm Raw Food Chef Hi Rivka from thelivingvision.com here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods. Cheers. Mmm.